Okay, so got a funny little product here. I've been meaning to do this review for a while because I've had this sitting on my shelf and been snacking on it forever. So this is from Trader Joe's. And it's a little, uh, you know, collection of different chocolates. A dark chocolate tasting odyssey. So, uh, so adventurous. Um, so I got this as a gift, actually like last year. And I think I've seen this similar type of stuff anyway on the shelf. You know, it's probably like six or seven bucks, which is really a good deal because if you look on there, we got seven different bars on there. So I think that's a pretty cool deal. Even at $10, that'd be a great deal. 70% uh, cacao. So definitely a dark chocolate. And it's got a lot of interesting flavors. So let's just take a look. Black sea salt caramel, pretty standard. Orange hibiscus, that's pretty unique. Coconut caramel, cool. Almond ginger, that was a good one. Um, and I've actually eaten all of these, so I'll actually just go through and review them. So my favorite out of this by far was the uh, chili and cinnamon. Uh, I do like spicy stuff, and cinnamon's also a great flavor, and that sweet and savoriness, along with a little bit of heat, um, really was interesting. Um, I have to say too that the coffee and cocoa was pretty good. Um, little chunks of ground coffee in there. The salt and pepper potato chips, interesting. Um, I think it could have had more potato chips. Definitely had a, a very saltiness to it and a crunch with the potato chip was pretty cool. Uh, the almond ginger, not necessarily my favorite but pretty interesting. Coconut caramel, hard to go wrong. Black sea salt and caramel, pretty much pedestrian these days when it comes to dark chocolates. But the orange hibiscus was probably the most unique, and I didn't necessarily love it. It is, however, the only one left that actually have some of the uh, the chocolate left to to show you. And it's been a while since I've eaten on it, so you know what? I'll do a little bite right now. And let's see, I think it says best if used... Oh, so it's a little bit expired. Hopefully I don't die from eating chocolate, but would there be worse things on the lake and everything? So this is very typical of what the rest of the bars look like, you know, that kind of square and that size. So you had six of these uh, squares in there, right? So pretty decent sized little bars. All of the packaging too is really cute. Each different one has um, some just fun little pictures and stuff. Honestly, I think it's a great gift for somebody, just a casual gift, an office gift, or a stocking stuffer type of thing. Or you know what, just because it's Tuesday type of thing, why not, nobody's gonna get mad at you if we're giving them chocolate. If they do, you just, you know, you don't need to be their friend. Mm. I'm gonna bite into this orange hibiscus. I'm not sure what the hibiscus part is, but you definitely taste the orange, but it's not very strong. Like only once you really get going and uh, really get into it, it's more like an aftertaste almost. Certainly got to chew it up, but yeah, it's got a little citrusy type of flair to it. And it's okay. Um, that kind of sweetness without a savory kick like some of the other ones, I think, kind of makes it not the most exceptional, but uh, soup's totally edible. Um, and again, here's your black salt, or excuse me, black salt, your black sea salt. It's from the black sea. That makes a big difference. But anyway, sea salt and caramel, it was pretty good, what you would expect from that. Cool little boxes, though. The coconut caramel, again, what you would expect. That's not necessarily a revolutionary flavor or anything you haven't seen before. Solid, um, and the caramel is very chewy, almost liquidy. It wasn't like chunks of caramel. The almond ginger, certainly the almond chunks were kind of like crushed up, so it wasn't big hunks of almond. The ginger had an interesting kick to it, um, and it was okay. It wasn't anything that blew my socks off. Now, again, here's my favorite, and I totally love the iguana staring down the sun. You know, who's going to win? Who's going to blink first, the sun or the iguana? I think the sun will probably lose. But, uh, yeah, that chili and cinnamon combo with the chocolate, this was by far my favorite of the group. 
Uh, and this was pretty interesting too. Again, this could have maybe been my favorite if they would have had more like potato chip chunks in it. Uh, the potato chip chunks were very lacking in my opinion, but they were when they were there and they crunched with the salt and the chocolate, I thought it was pretty darn good. Um, maybe something interesting to work on. Oops, see ya. And the coffee and cocoa, hey, this was great too. Like uh, I thought this was very solid. Um, like ground up chunks of coffee bean. If they would have made the potato chip part as chunky like they did the coffee beans, that would have been cool too. So anyway, if this product is still on the shelf at a Trader Joe's and you're looking for a little stocking stuffer, office gift, that kind of thing for the holidays, or just because it's Tuesday, don't forget Tuesdays can be cool too, then uh, I would highly recommend picking this up. Totally give it a thumbs up, just like you should my video. And hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more of my uh, little quickly shot, poorly produced snack food and booze review videos. But most importantly, you need to just have a wonderful day. Uh, I'll try to get that back in there. There we go. All right, later.